Since 2012, the Maryland Energy Administration has provided grant funding for low to moderate income families in Prince George's County, Maryland. The municipal collaboration currently has numbered 17 towns. Of that, we will do over 100 homes, one of which is the home we're going to showcase today. Hello, I'm David Saintine of the Maryland Energy Administration, where our mission is to promote clean, affordable, reliable energy. Every year, the Clean Energy Community's Low to Moderate Income Grant Program funds nonprofits and local governments like Bladensburg to perform energy retrofit projects on homes like this one that benefit low to moderate income Marylanders throughout the state. So Jim, tell me about some of the energy efficiency measures that you're installing in this house. The energy retrofits follow the Energy Star whole house model, which means that we look at the whole entire house as a system of interacting parts. Hmm. Can you explain some of these interacting parts to me? We seal the cracks, uh, insulate, and by doing that we're able to reduce the size of the air conditioning and heating units that are installed, which overall saves the customer more money in their heating and air conditioning bills. And that's month after month after month of reduced cost. True, that's the way it works. Uh, Gary's managing the project in this house, and Gary, what's going on upstairs in the attic? Uh, well, today we're focusing on air sealing and insulating the attic. Uh, what we're doing is we're sealing the miscellaneous penetrations that connect the living space to the attic. And then once we're all set with that, we're going to go ahead and insulate the attic with 16 inches of cellulose insulation. And that's going to help slow the progression of temperatures as well as um, keep the house more comfortable. This program allows us to do almost anything in the home as long as it has a 10-year payback. Uh, for instance, we can do attic insulation, uh, air sealing, HVAC replacement, appliance replacement, uh, uh, water heater replacement, and so on. So what sort of uh, energy savings are we looking at? Currently now it's projected to be right around 20%. All the participants have confirmed that they have seen a reduction in their energy costs and, and their bills. Uh, and they've also said that the houses are a lot more comfortable than they Yeah, that makes more sense and a lot less drafting. So Jim, don't the utilities offer similar programs? Yes, they do. Matter of fact, the utilities offer a rebate program and we utilize the funds from that rebate program, which has allowed us to add an additional 10 to 20 more homes into this year's project, along with the Department of Housing and Community development community legacy program allows us to do other work on homes so that we can come in with the Maryland Energy Administration funding and do the energy retrofits. So we're here at a house that's currently being retrofitted for energy project. Let's go talk to a past participant from a year or two ago and see what their experience with the program has been. Great, let's do it. And here we are in Colmar Manor talking to Teresa Abrams, a 2013 participant of the program. And Teresa, how's it been for you? It's been much more comfortable, um, a lot less draft in the basement. Um, I can tell a difference in the energy bills as well. Could you tell us a little bit about what they did to the house? They insulated the attic and they also sealed the crawl space. Great. Those are two important measures when you're trying to reduce the draftiness of an older house. Yes. MEA's Clean Energy Communities Low to Moderate Income Grant Program is helping Maryland achieve a 15% energy reduction per capita by the end of 2015. To learn more, please visit our website.